Welcome back to the video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne, and today I want to show you how to reset your Samsung Galaxy A35 back to factory settings. This would erase all the data off of the phone and then it would set it up like a brand new phone. The first thing we'll need to do is swipe down from the top of the screen. In the upper right corner, tap on the settings wheel. From here, you'll first want to go to your accounts and backup section. And then you'll go to manage accounts and you'll want to remove the Google account that is on the phone. I'm going to hit remove. Now, why do I need to do this? Well, the reason is if you don't remove the Google account and then you reset the phone, when you try to set up the phone again, it's going to ask you for the password for that account. And if you don't have it, it's not going to let you set the phone up. So you have to remove that account first. Next, we're going to hit our back button here. Uh, let's hit it twice. And now we're going to go up a little bit further to general management. From here, swipe up and go to reset. Swipe up again. Now, before we show the full reset option, I just want to point out that you have a few options here to back up your data. And I would encourage you before you do the reset, make sure you've backed up your data because once you've done that, you cannot get the data back after the fact. So you've got some options here to back up your data to an SD card. Um, or use Samsung Smart Switch to transfer your data to another phone, okay? Now, you're gonna tap on Factory Data Reset once you've done all the backup stuff. And this will show you all the apps and all the app data that will be uh, deleted once you do the reset. We're gonna tap on the reset button here, and this is your final moment to pull back if you have, haven't done anything else, right? So if you haven't done the backup yet, do that first. Once you get to this button here, you cannot go back, all right? Once you tap delete all, it's gonna erase all the data off of the phone, and then it's gonna to begin to set it up like a brand new phone. So it can take anywhere from two minutes to five minutes. You're gonna see the phone restart a few times, and when it's done, it'll take you to a welcome screen and ask you to select the language. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.